Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. Today I wanted to look at the gold charts. Gold uh, has been behaving rather strange uh, even when the S&P markets have been down. Uh, uh, gold has failed to act as a, as a safe haven, which it generally does. So if you look at the S&P, we've been coming down over the past week or two. And if you look at the gold charts also, we've been coming down for the past uh, week or two. So that's a correlation that generally works the other way. So I wanted to take a look at gold charts. Uh, this is a one year daily chart. Now I'm just going to draw some drawings here. So we, uh, we understand the levels. What we have is on the top side, it's pretty clear that there is some very heavy resistance going on at this level, which is at around, let's say the 1350, 1360 level uh, is very heavy. You can see there's uh, a lot of touch points there. And uh, let me just draw this here and you'll see the general area. We're talking about a zone here, not particularly at one uh, uh, any one level, but this entire zone has had um, uh, several touches here. So if we just freeze this line here. Okay. So if we call that as the, as the upper point, we can see clearly over the past one year, gold has had a very difficult uh, time to break out. It's been at least one, two, three, four, five touches to that point, And, um, it's not been able to break out. Meanwhile, uh, there's been severe bouts of, uh, down moves and also there's been one or two very strong moves like this one uh, and once again here there's a strong move there's a little bit of a pullback and then again there's another strong move but then the down moves are also pretty intense and as if you can see this the number of uh, bars which is the number of days uh, is reaching pretty much its uh, normal level uh, at least in the recent past so you can see there's a similar level here there's a similar level here and even on the upside there's a similar level there and here as well so here we see some larger moves but over the last uh, let's say four to five months we've seen this uh, a two week sort of a range being the being that for gold now let's look at the downside because right now gold okay so these are the gold futures uh, the gold ETF, of course, is GLD. GLD is uh, all, a little more than one tenth of uh, the gold futures. But if you look at the downside, we are right now over here. But and you can see that there is a uh, pretty strong uh, support level here. And then the next one is over here. So I would say if we draw a line, uh, which is around um, which is around uh, 12, uh, let's say 1230, 1240 on the gold futures level. And then, of course, the next uh, next level would be uh, this uh, the 1204 level. So if you look at these are the three levels that uh, gold is looking at. Now, the key is whether it can break through or get supported here at this level. So uh, if it breaks through, then there's another 40 point drop. Uh, clearly, that's possible because there's nothing in between. But if it does bounce back, it's got a pretty good room to at least come up to the 1313 level and perhaps even more than that up to the 1360 level. So uh, the point is uh, of this video is uh, uh, I think if, if you're a gold trader, you need to watch this level and see if this uh, 1237 holds. If it holds, then you're looking at a pretty big move upside. If it does not hold, then uh, we're looking at going down to about 12, 12, 1200 or 1204 and which is also would be a pretty big move. And so this, there can be some good trades here, but the trade doesn't happen today. It may happen in the next couple of days. Thanks.